Good morning, folks. Eyes open. The sun offered a few little pops over the last day, with some surface surging around filaments and some new plasma ropes dancing onto the disk as solar tornadoes. The solar flaring is still low, however, no significant X-ray flux, and for that we blame the sunspots. They really looked like they were going to develop, but they went the other way last night. Flare chances are low. The solar wind is showing a sustained, speedy stream from the departing coronal hole. The speed has cracked 600 kilometers per second, but waited until the density dropped down so this stream is of moderate pressure only. No magnetic storms, but we are seeing a touch of instability here and there. The culprit is that negative coronal hole exiting down south, responsible for an outstanding quake watch that ended two days ago as well. And we won't wait that long for the next quake watch either, the positive opening coming in after the coronal field arches, and we'll be interacting with Earth over the next week during that time. We know the planets will be active as well. Let me turn off the atmosphere here to see Mercury swinging in to conjoin Venus and Jupiter, still close to conjunction themselves. The Sun will block most of this from view. But until that quake watch comes, the unusual location rumbles are continuing as two highly rare tremors strike off the coast of Australia where another one hit just a few days earlier. We'll be monitoring that closely. We were above average on the Canadian coastline and then we also had two volcanic upticks, one at Ubinas in South America and the other in Papua New Guinea. And amazingly, weather satellites were already looking right at it. Boom. Anyway, a possible Earth spot connection lies just north of that where the typhoon has organized and is heading west. Same story with a westward track for the East Pacific hurricane, this one aiming at Hawaii. When we come over to the United States, see heat and moisture running up the central corridor, and tonight it will bring severe alerts from the plains to the Midwest. In Europe, it's the twin lows in the northwest taking the top watches, although the floods to the far east are of concern as well. Last but not least, let's come down under, see the convergence of air masses, and then turn on the cloud water overlay. It really is as simple as can be. Folks, today is the second birthday of SuspiciousObservers.org, and yes, stragglers, as always, I'll keep the discount price going for another day. Become a member before tomorrow, and the lower price is locked in for life. By the way, it's Saturday, so our Fly on the Wall podcast will be posted in a few hours. For those around last week, the manuscript decision has been made. We'll discuss that and some other interesting topics. We've got some current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.